Hi, everybody. This is Ingrid Vandervelt. You are on the road with IV, coming back to you with a very special segment number four here with Craig Newmark of Craigslist.org. Welcome back to the show, Craig. Great to see you. My pleasure. <laughs> we, we keep rolling the tape, so Craig has now had to say this four or five times. So, <laughs> Craig, thank you. All right. The reason we wanted to do the segment number four is because when uh, our producer met you down in Austin, Texas, at the University of Texas at Austin, you were talking about uh, doing the right thing as a foundation to building your business. Um, tell us a little bit more about that, because a lot of business owners are thinking just about the money. Well, nothing altruistic or noble or pious about this in any kind of business or really any enterprise. I think you do want to treat people like you want to be treated. One corollary to that is providing good customer service. And overall, sometimes it's hard figuring out what the right thing to do is, at least consciously. But the vast majority of humans have a pretty good moral compass. So if you do what your instincts are telling you, you will probably be doing something which is fairly right. And uh, Craig, speaking about doing the right thing, uh, I mentioned to you in the break that I actually uh, Twittered to my Facebook account and told people that you and I were chatting today and invited some people from around the country to ask a few, few questions. And so I have a few of those for you, uh, some of them serious and some of them funny. So we'll get through these real quick. Um, Jennifer Worth Hitchcock from Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, well, first of all, her first question was, do you need an assistant because she would like to be that for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, frankly, uh, now and then I think that could help, but only only rarely. And I realize that sometimes, uh, well, I'm, an, I'm not an assistant kind of guy, and sometimes it's harder to communicate with an assistant than it is to actually just get stuff done. Well, and, and speaking of that, and then back to doing the right thing, her second question actually was uh, regarding how, how Craigslist operates as a business. And she said, do you ever see charging for things in the future? Obviously, you charge for some of the postings uh, for people who are looking for uh, to hire people. But do you see for charging anything else in the future? Well, right now we charge for job postings in 18 cities. We're charging for apartment listings in New York City only, where real estate is a blood sport. Uh, we're uh, charging also in erotic services on the advice of law enforcement and so on, primarily to cut down abuse. And we will be donating all those proceeds to charity. I read that. Uh, which charity do you actually donate those proceeds to? Uh, we haven't decided yet. We've just started. And I have a feeling uh, vetting appropriate charities will be tough since, well, I'm no expert on philanthropy. <laughs> well, you might get bombarded with some requests after this, but uh, Gregory Feinstein from Orange County, California, um, he wanted to ask you, and I'm curious too, he said, what do you think about the economies? Uh, the economy of, of delivering essentially free products because uh, Wired Magazine just came out with an article about how in the online environment free is the way to go. What's your opinion on that? Because people do have to generate revenue. Well, in our case, the site is almost completely free, but not completely free. And we just decided that we would charge in a very limited way that works for us since we managed to run at very low cost. That's thanks to Jim. So in our case, giving away mostly everything free works for us, but I wouldn't generalize that to other businesses, particularly businesses where you're actually uh, buying or selling stuff. I don't know if much of that could be made free. Interesting, because um, it, what he also asked, and, and speaking of that, uh, the, the other question that he had related to that was, uh, you know, that a lot of the media has claimed that Craigslist has contributed to the financial trouble of, of some of the major newspapers. Um, but in the process, you've, you've certainly helped the blogging fill the gap. Um, are you glad that you have contributed to the blog sphere is the first question. Um, but do you fear that in-depth journalism is dying? Well, I guess in some ways we have contributed to the blog sphere. That's more me personally and some of my outside efforts. 
uh, industry analysts, by the way, and newspaper editors and publishers, too, tell us that the effect we've had on him has been greatly uh, exaggerated. Okay. Uh, well, and we have two more questions here. Lou Elliman from Austin, Texas, uh, he said, my, my posts are always getting flagged. Uh, why do my posts keep getting flagged? I uh, think I need a little information to go on. Typically, what would really help me out would be, uh, let's say, if the guy would send me one or two posting IDs or links to those ads, because once I see that, I might be able to figure out what was wrong and deal with it. Okay, and, and I have one uh, final funny question here for you, uh, Craig. Rochelle Carpenter from Austin, Texas, she said in a question, what is his shoe size? And I said, you've got to be kidding. I'm not going to ask him that. She said, I really need to know. <laughs> so you must have fans. Maybe she sells shoes. I don't know. I won't uh, ask, but uh, my feet are small. It's eight to eight and a half. So finally, Craig, thanks so much. Um, what do you love most about being an entrepreneur? Uh, again, you know, now that you have, have become this extraordinarily successful, accidental entrepreneur, what is the best part about that for you? Um, for me, again, I just don't think of myself as an entrepreneur. But the uh, stuff which feels best is just the notion that we're helping uh, tens of millions of people helping each other out in a pretty good culture of trust. And that's pretty satisfying. Well, Craig, thank you so much for spending time with us here in On the Road with IV. It's such a pleasure to talk to you. So nice to meet you online. And uh, we really appreciate you sharing your insight on starting Craigslist with us. Uh, so thank you, everybody. We'd like to thank our producers, LG Pictures, and our Coda Technologies. And, of course, our sponsors, Beauty, Estilo, and Rochelle Ray. Take care. And, Craig, we wish you the best of luck and continued success. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.